Today I'm going to show you how I filmed the wedding with the Weeble S, the Canon RP, and a Canon lens 24 to 105 f-stop 4. We're going to go through five tips that I recommend to improve your wedding video footage right now. So first let's get started with the price of this setup. US is going to cost you about $2,300 for this and Canadian about $3,300. I'll put the exact pricing up. This is before discounts, so if there's discounts on right now, you probably can get this setup for quite a bit cheaper. Starting with the first tip, I recommend fully utilizing the focal length of your lens. So I'm using the 24 to 105. I balance it somewhere in the middle, around 50 to 70. And what this does is it gives me the ability to zoom in and zoom out for short periods of times to get a wider range of video shots when I'm using my gimbal. The Weeble S can hold this up. I've tried it for short periods of times. Obviously you don't wanna be doing this for extended periods of times because the gimbal motors are not gonna be able to handle it. But for a short period of time, this works out really well and you're able to get a ton of different shots on your gimbal with one lens. So tip number two, I recommend using the foreground and the background. What this does is it really creates a depth of field and creates a unique perspective that's not just everything and focused all the time. I don't recommend doing this for every clip, but doing it every once in a while in your wedding video, I think this adds a lot of value and differentiates yourself quite a bit. Tip number three, use heel to toe. I know this has been in a lot of YouTube videos to make sure your gimbal stays smooth, but it's so important to make sure that your footage stays smooth. Also make sure when you want super smooth footage to have your gimbal balanced completely. Otherwise the gimbal is gonna be working too hard and it might overcompensate sometimes, but if it's completely balanced, you're gonna have the most smooth footage. A little added thing to this tip is to make sure you have follow on on your gimbal mode. This makes sure that no matter where your gimbal is at, that the camera stays straight. So this is really important if you wanna be walking towards a subject and not have the gimbal go up and down slowly. Tip number four, make sure you move around to get perspective. If you're filming the ceremony, make sure that you're not on just one side filming. Go behind everyone and get the other side. Make sure that you're getting different perspectives because people are gonna get bored if you're filming from the same side all the time. If you're with the groomsmen taking video of them, make sure that you're on both sides of the room. Make sure you're getting a different perspective. Try to get a unique perspective that people normally wouldn't see. Kind of like taking photos. You don't want to take the generic photo all the time. Go to a spot that's unique. Also make sure that you're getting different types of shots. So make sure you're getting videos of their hands, of the wedding rings, of people's feet, of people walking. You don't want to have the same types of shots all the time. Kind of utilizing what we spoke about in the first tip is using that focal length make sure that you're getting different perspective. You're gonna try this out. Some of them are gonna work, some of them are not gonna work. Fifth tip, make sure you know all the modes of your Weeble S. If you don't know them, I created a video, I'll put it in the link somewhere so you can see how to utilize your Weeble S to the best of its abilities. But this is so important because things move so fast in a wedding and you need to know what kind of shot you want and you need to know how to use your gimbal to take that shot. So when you're wanting a smooth shot, make sure you're using follow. If you're wanting a cool vortex mode and you wanna have everything spinning in a circle, use the vortex mode. If you wanna have it so you can follow the subject without worrying if they're gonna be out of the frame use POV mode. This is great because you can follow up, follow down, you can go to any single axis. And this is great because you can capture the moment and not worry about missing out on anything. Just like knowing all the settings on your camera, you should know all the settings on your Weeble S. So those are my tips on how to use the Weeble S for a wedding video, specifically with the Canon RP and the 24 to 105 f4 lens from Canon. I hope this video helped you understand how to use the Weeble S for wedding videos and to take that into other videos for commercial shoots or other shoots that you take. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. I wanna help you out just like I would my brother. See you in the next video.